Hi friends, how are you? Today I have decided to complete the fourth and last part of the time shift, which is going on for two, three days, you know very well. And in the previous three videos, I tried my level best to impart the significance of the time shift. And you must have understood that tenses play a very vital role in uh, building a sentence and our sentence cannot be built without using the formulas of tenses. So, after constructing three types of sentences, first was positive sentence, second was negative sentence, and the third was interrogative sentence. The last part is interrogative plus negative sentence. So today I have decided to conclude this topic by discussing the last topic, the last tense, which is interrogative plus negative sentences. And you will have to understand one thing, while speaking in English, we will have to make all, we will have to use all kind of sentences, positive, negative, interrogative, and interrogative plus negative. So, in, unless we use all kind, all the four kinds of sentences in our language, we will not be able to say what we want to say to other people and our our thoughts will remain to us. So, confined, confined to us. So, today, I will make the sentences of interrogative and negative. So, before making the sentences of interrogative plus negative, I would like to tell you one thing, that Failure seldom stops us. What stops us is fear of failure. It means if you start believing that you will not succeed, then it will be the end of your confidence. And I do not want you to let your confidence down. I will always try to boost your confidence. And if you keep studying this topic, this subject in a tense mood, then you will not be able to understand it properly. So instead of studying this topic in a very tense manner, you are supposed to take enthusiastic interest in it and so joviality, joviality in your study so that you may not find any kind of problem. So, today I have decided to make the uh, interview plus negative sentences. So, first of all, present in definite tense is being going on. And as you know, the sentence is going on, Ravi plays cricket, Ravi does not play cricket, does Ravi play cricket, and does Ravi not play cricket. So, the last sentence will be used here according to the formula. Does will be used here according to formula. Does Ravi? I am just following the formula. I am not doing anything at my will. And you are also supposed to follow the suit. Does Ravi? Not will be used according to formula. Not. Man was first form plus. First form will be used here. Play. Object will be used here and question mark is the most important thing is the question mark don't forget to put it after the end of the sub sentence so first indefinite tense now did will be used here kya ravi cricket khela tha kya ravi cricket nahi khela tha did ravi subject ravi not man of first form play object cricket 
and yesterday. So mark the pronunciation. It will be pronounced yesterday, not yesterday. So these are the typical pronunciation skills of English grammar, of English language, and I would like you to abide by the standard formula, standard pronunciation skill of pronouncing a word, and I would like you to I would like to suggest the Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary as a yardstick to follow as a for pronouncing any word because unless until you have a yardstick to do something you will not be able to pronounce anything in a correct manner if you start pronouncing in the accent of indian accent then that english will not be regarded as the king's english that will be an ordinary english so if you wish to become a proficient learner a proficient speaker of this language then you will have to follow the oxford advanced learners dictionary so that your pronunciation may be absolutely perfect now future indefinite tense will ravi not kya ravi cricket nahi khelega to will aage pehle and ravi will has has been used here not has been used here and not play cricket will ravi not play cricket so this is the sentence of future indefinite tense now present continuous tense is subject ravi not will be used here man of first form play plus ing as you all already know plus dot plus here playing cricket plus will be used in the formula is ravi not playing cricket now next is was ravi not playing cricket so that is the formula of past continuous tense was ravi not playing cricket now future continuous tense will ravi will will be used subject ravi will be used not will be used according to formula b will be used according to formula play will be used according to formula man verb first form plus ing and object will be used here cricket will ravi not be playing cricket now next is present perfect tense has ravi played cricket so this is the present perfect tense and now you will have to make sure one thing that while making a sentence of past perfect tense you will have to be damn sure that you will have to make two sentences one will be past perfect one will be the sentence of past perfect tense and one will be the sentence of past indefinite tense the second number so if we use before in a sentence then the past perfect will come before and if we use after in a sentence then after will be and then past perfect will come after the word after this is the main formula so remember this this so what happens had ravi not played let me explain it properly had ravi not played cricket now before suppose i am using here before so i am using here before so past perfect will be used before it means pehle past perfect will be used before and past simple will be used after that before i came had ravi not played cricket before i came now i came is a simple past tense has been used here ki kya mere aane ke pehle hi ravi cricket nahi khel chuka tha so don't forget this essential element of this 
tense. Now next is future perfect tense. Will Ravi. Now in the future perfect tense, one side future perfect will be used and other side future indefinite will be present indefinite tense will be used. So will Ravi not have played cricket before I go there. Now, the same formula will be used in this tense also. If we use before, then past future perfect will come before. And if we use after, then future will perfect will come after. I go there. Now, present indefinite tense has been used here. I go there. All right. So, all right. Now, next is present perfect continuous tense. Has Ravi not been playing cricket since morning? So, don't feel impatient. I have just followed the formula and written it. So, you should also not have any kind of problem while solving the sentences. Now, it is your duty to make many sentences according to one single sentence. So, I have used here Ravi. The word Ravi has been used here. You can use another name and you can do another verb. You use another verb here and another object here. Suppose Mohan plays flute. Mohan Bansuri Bajata hai. Sunita opens a book. Now this kind of, you can use any kind of word, any kind of sentence you can make and start solving in this way so that your tenses may be, com may be completed properly. If you, after watching this video, start making new sentences and start, if you start uh, constructing those, those sentences in these different ways, then no one can stop you from learning this topic in a sensational way. Now, has Ravi not been playing cricket since morning? Now, past perfect continuous tense. Had Ravi not been playing cricket since morning. Kya Ravi subhe se cricket nahi khel raha tha. So, I had missed the, putting the question mark, but I have made up for the loss. Now, the last one is, will Ravi have been playing cricket since morning. So, will Ravi have been playing cricket since morning? So friends, in this way, I have completed this topic and I am damn sure that you will certainly follow in my footsteps because I have a bee in my bonnet for this language. And I also want you to have a bee in your bonnet for this language and you should have obsession for learning something unless until you incite obsession, incite some kind, some kind of spark in you, then you will not be able to learn this language. So start inciting spark in you in yourself and you should also start to herald the dawn of a new era by using this language don't feel desperate you should not feel desperate disappointed frustrated disillusioned that you do not know this language and i am telling you this again and again to learn this language because this language is should not be learned 
merely for our academic pursuit but this language should be learned to become a, a sensational orator and if you want to imprint your personality then on others if you want to so your superiority over others then it can be help it can be done by dint of perseverance and sheer hard work and only your your uh, sensational expression in this language can help you achieve anything so good bye good night and uh, take care of yourself and try to follow these rules which i have told you and i will keep uploading new videos my next video will be very interesting and i am absolutely sure that you will certainly look forward to meeting me thank you good night